Object Delay is a fantastic, stimulating, creative delay plugin from Applied Acoustic Systems. It's unique in that not only do we get a dual delay line with feedbacks that we can refeed into one of the delays, but it also gives us the opportunity to filter the input signal or run it through an object. So we can model either a drum head, a beam, a plate, or string, and generate some acoustic resonances that are really interesting when they're fed into the delay line. So let's take a look at the interface, and then we'll see and hear what this can do. Now, there are four modules. They can each be turned on or off by clicking anywhere in their title bar or on the power button. And the idea with the signal flow is that the input signal first arrives at a filter here with a high cut and low cut filter optionally available. And that'll filter the input signal into the other modules. And it has three different steepnesses, 6 dB per octave, 12 or 24. And after that, before it hits the delay line, we can run it through one of these physical objects. And when we're modeling the object, we can set the fundamental frequency over here. We can set the decay rate, meaning how quickly or how long the resonances are gonna sustain for. We can adjust the material that's used and the formants, meaning where the object is struck, how close to the outer edge or the center, and they all affect the quality of the partials that are generated. Now, in the delay module, we have a dual delay line, and they can be linked with this button, so they'll both move together or unlinked. And we can work synced to host tempo, and we can change the values with the knob, or we can open a panel here where we can choose the values from a grid, or we can choose a multiplier. And particularly interesting are the 2 over 3 and 4 over 3 values, which give us some interesting rhythms that are generated. And, of course, we can also just dial the knob to change the values, and we can see a readout here of... The multipliers that are used. We have an LFO module where we can modulate just about any of these parameters. We can set the rate over here the same way we can here. There's a re-trigger button. We choose the LFO shape over there. We can offset the phase or the width of how quickly it's going to go through the periodic waveform. We choose the destination here, and one of the interesting destinations is wet VCA, meaning we can modulate not just the output for a gated effect, but just the wet part of the output. So there's a lot of interesting possibilities. We can modulate in either unipolar or bipolar directions based on the position of this switch. And we set the depth over here. So let's hear this on a synth bass sound to start with. So here I've got it going through this delay. The first one is a quarter note, and then subsequent delays are an eighth note. And we can feed it back into each other. The ping pong will spread them out from left to right. And we can filter the delays over here. But let's leave it wide open and run it through an object. So you can hear some interesting results already. We can have more of a sustained set. Or more of a percussive sound. And we can modulate the frequency for some interesting possibilities. We can offset the width. Here I've got an acoustic guitar running through object delay, and I've got a really tight delay time set, and I'm modulating it for some nice chorusing and thickening with the ping pong. Here it is with it out. We can run the input signal through a filter first for more subtle results. Or through an object for something a little more colorful. Here's object delay on a Rhodes. And we're modulating the feedback with random values. Let's try modulating the frequency. Here's a simple drum loop. Let's bring in object delay. 
running it through an object for additional percussive sounds or more legato sounds. Let's try some different objects. Here's a vocal run through some interesting rhythmic repeats. And let's modulate the output for a gated effect. Good. 